Let's get you to the meat of this thing. thing. Right, get um, right into it. <laughs> you know, it, it's a long path between being arraigned, indicted, and going to prison. Um, he, he's facing 30-plus felonies, um, but he doesn't have a criminal record, and none of them are of the magnitude that people usually land behind prison. Mm-hmm. Um, but this ain't the only thing he has to face. So he still has Atlanta. He still has... Uh, the classified documents in the Department of Justice. So with all those things, the probability of him going to prison uh, is higher than most. But why do you think that? Because we've seen him, like, um, his, his come to get in trouble and everything, but this case seemed to be sticking to get as far as an indictment and to be arraigned today. I think all of them are sticking. I mean, to be honest with you, um, I think I think Fannie Willis, the black DA in Fulton County, she just is so busy with... Um, you know, YSN and YSL and all these other alphabets in Atlanta. <laughs> she, couldn't get to, she, she couldn't get to, to, to MAGA yet. She's going to get there, though. Um, but this is just watching people contort um, and bend themselves over backwards to defend uh, Donald Trump for hush payments to, um, you know, Stormy Daniels while his wife was pregnant. And this that's not the only um, set of hush payments I think you're going to hear about. It's just, it, for me, it, for me, it's totally disingenuous. Mm-hmm. Now, Bakari, this question for you, because, you know, we've seen Trump supporters, you know, really sort of stand behind him. They they riding and they dying. What is the logic, the thought process behind this? Oh, there is none. There, it's a, <laughs> and there's the answer. Yeah, no, it's a cult of personality. And, for, I mean, so there are things that will not, will, will not make any sense. Like, why do people still stand behind him when this goes, when this goes to trial? Mm-hmm. But then there are things that make perfect sense. Like, to, like Donald Trump will not be shackled. He will not have a mug shot. He will not be fingerprint. Wow, no fingerprints but, either. But when my good friend uh, Andrew Gillum was arrested for getting a. a uh, a, a legal ticket to go see Hamilton. They brought him in a courtroom in shackles. Okay, like wow. he was a full blown. Yeah, shackles around his ankles and his waist. But <clears throat> I think those things make more sense to us because we understand the fundamental inequities. But Trump now has to, he has to, you know, pay the piper. For those saying it's a witch hunt against former President Trump, what do you say? No, no witch hunt. I mean, the man broke so many laws. Mm-hmm. The question is, I mean, the question is one thing. I know he's a former president, but is any man, one man above the law? No. And I think that Alvin Bragg said no. He shouldn't be. Trump is slated to provide remarks later on today when he flies back to Florida. What do you think he'll say? The same thing he always says. It's you fake know, news. Fake news. Uh, yeah, Alvin Bragg is um, is is racist um, against white folks. I mean, he's going it's going it's not going to make any sense, but it's going to be a show and it's going to be good TV. It's been a reality TV so 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 far because we've seen him his motorcade leave Mar-a-Lago, you know, arrive at LaGuardia. It's been crazy to Child, me. I'm like, seeing everything except for handcuffs, yeah. prison jumpsuits. I want the I real know. drama. I'm with Bakari. They, they said they said when that man got on his airplane, it turned into Con Air. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so how does all this affect whether or not Trump will run for president in 2024? No effect at all. Mm. That I mean, is insane. President. Even if he's convicted, he can run for president. He just can't vote for himself. Mm-mm-mm. This is a wild, wild country we're living in right now. Just fix yeah. it, Lord. So seeing that Trump go through this, do you think <laughs> this has uh, broken the veil of protection from elite politicians seem to have? No. I just, I mean, I think this is a one-off situation. Mm. A former president. Um, we've never seen anything like this before. But we've seen other elected officials go through this. I mean, just ask John Edwards about paying off his mistress with campaign funds. He got indicted. I mean, he didn't get found guilty, but he got indicted. Mm-hmm. Um, so this, this happened before. We've heard this story before, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, Bakari, this is going to be the first black DA prosecuting um, on this case. How do you think he will do? What are some of the challenges he may face? Well, he has to make him stick. I think he's been thorough. I think he, you have to have evidence. Um, we, I, we don't know what he has yet. Mm-hmm. Right. And so that's the, that's the difficult part. So well, we have to see what he has, and then let's judge the strength of the indictment. 
And the rain is happening today at 2.15. We will definitely keep you updated. And Bakari, tell us, how can they follow you for updates as well? Because I know you'll be on social media and on CNN talking about it. Uh, Bakari underscore sellers. Bakari sellers on IG. Um, and really, man, I ain't, I ain't focused too, too much on Trump. I'm just going <laughs> to spend time on my children and have a good Tuesday. That part. <laughs> okay, Bakari said, this has been on my bingo card for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bakari. We appreciate you. All right, y'all be easy.